The Ruby Horse Thief Canyon runs 25 miles on the Colorado River, from the small desert town of Fruta, Colorado, to the Westwater Boat Ramp in Utah. And this was also going to be her first overnight rafting trip. And even though we'd never done it before, our friends Tyler and Jesse, with their dog Sierra, joined us on this desert adventure that we would never forget. And we honestly couldn't wait for our next river trip after this one, because it was so much fun. Because of the crazy snow we had this winter, the river speeds were going so fast, which meant we were only going to be on the river for a few hours that day to cruise 12 miles. So to make it longer, we actually drove six miles into town and put in at a different boat ramp further up river so we could enjoy more time on the river. Even though we started out the trip cruising through the marshlands, not that difficult. It was a great way to get back in the swing of things on the river and also just enjoy the time in the sun. As we cruised past the put-in for the normal trip, we saw tons and tons of boats, so we were glad where we were was significantly less crowded. And as we entered the canyon, we didn't make it far before our first stop, for lunch, and of course, for the dogs to play. Normally, we let our dog Gregor go swim while we paddle along. But because of how fast the water was moving, about 20,000 CFS, or 7 miles an hour, it really wasn't that safe for the dogs to get in the water, so they stayed on board for most of the trip. With the water levels being so high, we took advantage of any chance we could of the remaining beaches that were above the water to enjoy the sun and the warm weather. And to offset how damn cold the water was. Oh, okay. Turns out the water was only 54 degrees and it was frigid! Back up. Yeah. It didn't take long for us all to dry off again and to get back on the river. After a little bit of playtime with dogs and a brief nap on the beach, dogs included. As we passed the cottonwood trees that line the river, we tried to take in as much of the desert landscape as we possibly could. We've been coming here for so many years, and this is the first time I've ever seen a canyon like this. Being on the river has truly changed my perspective on the desert, and of course for the better. It is kind of funny, compared to all the hiking and biking we've done in the desert, being on the river is so much slower forces you to relax and enjoy the time with your friends. Something I definitely have a hard time doing. Slowing down and relaxing, that is. To add to the experience, I really do think the dogs had just as much fun on the trip as we did especially half the time they were trying to get the sticks out of the water, which never really worked out that much. They were always out of reach. With Tyler at the helm, we cruised the last few miles down the river through a beautiful section of the canyon as the wind picked up and got us to camp for a total of 19 miles on the day. But it could have been 40 and we would have enjoyed it because there was never a bad day on the river. Back on land for the night, we set up camp, 
And then, of course, Gregor needed us to throw rocks for him since we couldn't throw them all day. And then we decided to hang out for a little bit before heading uphill for a hike to catch the sunset. <laughs> we reserved the Me Too campsite pretty much at random, and I had no idea that it was going to be in such a beautiful place. The way the river hits the bend and a canyon trails off from there it was out of this world beautiful. And even as the sun set, it only got prettier. After fighting the mosquitoes all night and a really warm night of sleep, it was time to pack up everything and load it back onto the boat. The gang got their coffee ready to have on the water, and we got back in the river to finish off the last 12 miles of the trip to the takeout. Even though this trip is beginner friendly, and I would recommend it for anyone, the second half of the trip does have a few wave trains in which you're bound to get wet. Here we go. Next up was the coolest part of the river, the Black Rocks. There's a handful of campsites right here, and they would be the best ones we saw the entire trip. So many places to pull off, so many things to do, and of course, actually some fun rapids to go through. They were still very mellow, but a good time. Hydraulic right there. They chasing us. This would be an awesome campsite. All the things to play on. Yeah. Even though being on the river is pretty relaxing and there wasn't much paddling, it does get exhausting. And I think the dogs would agree as well. Eventually, we had to cross back into Utah, where we only had a couple more miles to get to the takeout. This trip was truly incredible, and honestly, we couldn't wait to get back on the river. It was a great way to spend time with friends, even though we only live a mile apart. The dogs had a great time, we had a great time, and I cannot recommend this trip enough. The Ruby Horse Thief Canyon is amazing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, adventure doesn't find you.